Hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Sam Femi, and you can see I'm smiling. I don't know why I'm excited and it's a good thing. Um, I'm glad to be shooting this video and yes, I am in Lagos. I don't like to share this kind of announcement, but I thought I should because I would like to share a few moments with some people in Lagos this Wednesday if you know you're interested but before then you know I titled this video what's your personal award I was just having a conversation with a friend name withheld and we're talking about you know um, building capacity to know your boundaries building capacity for self-worth self-respect building capacity to ensure you choose the people who come into your space to ensure you determine your level of involvement or non-involvement with the people that are in your life building self-respect building self-worth building self-value and all the works you know and it made a lot of sense to me but in the course of that conversation it occurred to me that if you don't add value to your own life you cannot add value to anybody's life. The rule of thumb is self-value generates external value. Intrinsically, you should be able to add value to your own life. And I was thinking, have I been adding value to my own life? What is my personal award? What awards have I earned for myself in my personal life, in my professional life, in my business life, in my social life, in my domestic life? What are my personal awards? If I am not adding value to myself, building my capacity, growing my self-cloud, growing my self-esteem, growing my self-confidence, growing my conduct, growing my worth, it's almost impossible I can add value to anyone. So this video really is a challenge, it's a charge. What value are you adding to yourself? Many times we're very hungry to add value to people everybody wants to be a life coach everybody wants to be a trainer everybody wants to be a consultant everybody wants to be a teacher a train a pastor a motivational talker a writer there are so many philosophies flying everywhere facebook linkedin instagram twitter pinterest everywhere everybody's a philosopher everybody's a teacher everybody's a trainer but the question is when you point inwards, what value are you adding to yourself? I think I was talking to someone yesterday, I can't remember now, and I was talking about the fact that when the chips are down, most of us, many of us are empty. When the chips are down, many of us are empty. What this means is we regurgitate content we have stolen or read from other people's walls and books. We churn out what we don't have personal proof of. We churn out what we don't have personal experiences in. We churn out what we don't have personal touch of. We don't even know how to recreate content that has a personal touch so as to have a, a, pro, a proprietary content, so as to have originality and authenticity. We just read, cram, give. Read, cram, give. It does not work. So that's why many of us cannot earn more than we are earning because there is nothing that is yours. You cannot earn the six figure, seven figure, nine figure you dream about. You cannot even aspire to live the kind of life you want to live because the content you churn out is clearly a stolen content. It has no touch of originality and authenticity. So I'd like you to remember, don't read, cram, give. Omotala, thank you for giving it a code, R RCG. <laughs> Don't read, cram, give. Rather, be original, be authentic, be real. Look inwards. The biggest asset any human has is self-awareness. Biggest asset. You can read this anywhere in the world. If you know yourself, you can become anything. So when you know yourself, you can adapt your learning, your reading, your studying, your education, and reproduce. Reproduction is the answer, not regurgitation. Don't regurgitate, reproduce. And in reproducing, 
add your content, add your originality, add your experiences, add your scars. You know what a scar is? A scar is a healed wound. What part of your life affected your learning that can add value to someone else? These are the thoughts that have come through my mind this morning. And I want to share these thoughts in another forum on Wednesday in Lagos. If you want to sit with me for two hours this Wednesday in Ikeja from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., please call on Tola now on 0807 361-0884 We're going to take as many people as maybe 25 max I don't know but it's going to be just 2 hours of my time I would like to sit with you in Ikeja, Lagos for just 2 hours If you're interested, call on Tola right now 0807-361-0884 or leave a comment on this video and you will be contacted personally. I'd like you to know something. It is possible to be original. It is possible to be authentic. It's possible to be original. It's possible to be authentic. It's possible to be profitable. But you need to know the rules. Last Saturday in Abuja, I hosted a few people to what we called How Do I Break Even in This Season? And in that conversation, I shared five pillars for profitability. I would like to share those five pillars with you in Lagos. So if you're in Lagos and you'd like to sit with Coach Sam, the serene, enigmatic Coach Sam, please call on Tola right now. Or leave a comment and we will reach you. I'd like you to do me a favor. If you truly do love me, share this video. I want someone to learn what you have learned. And I want someone to be able to enjoy what you have enjoyed. And if you want me to help you at anything, of course, buzz me. But most importantly, let me see you on Wednesday in Lagos. If you are not in Lagos and you know someone you love, you care about is in Lagos, let them see this video. That's all I require of you. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for always being there for me. Love you. Bye for now.